Hey guys, Tim here. It is October 18th and I'm going to go ahead and do my collection video just because I'm not really planning to buy anything else this month and I have a cat that's trying to get on the table and I hope he doesn't knock down the camera, the iPad that I'm using. So come here, buddy. Before you knock that off, this is Buddy Boy right here. Yeah. Very affectionate cat. Oh. Go find somewhere to play. All right, so uh, back to the... Uh, collection update. I usually would wait until the end of the month, but again, not planning to buy anything this month. Um, not too much more anyway. And nothing of note. I've been eyeballing possibly buying the Soul Leader set off eBay, all of that in Japanese, or maybe Zatch Bell or Zaso Inuyasha. There's been a few I've been eyeballing, but I'm probably not going to end up buying those. I'm probably just going to wait until next month and make next month a more centered around collecting manga. Or is this month, it's been kind of all over the place. There's not been one dedicated thing I've been collecting other than some English um, manga magazines because I finished two of those series if you've been watching my previous videos. So uh, let's just get on with it. We have a couple of figures. Um, I know earlier this year I decided I was going to buy um, Dragon Stars figures and I was going to try to buy all those. And I now have three of them. This is my second one that I got, which is Broly. Then the third one I got is Frieza. So it's going to take a while to get all those. There's, there's quite a few of them out, actually. It's going to be very expensive to buy them all just because all of them are around $20. So unless I can get them on sale, so that would be awesome. But I want all of them in their box. So even if I like buy them on eBay, I'm going to make sure I can get them in their box. Um, next up, we have a couple of um, My Dress Up Darling Blu-rays. These are what's quite expensive to import. Number three and, well, number two and number three. Unfortunately, number four, five, and six is out of stock on Amazon Japan, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get those. May have to resort to doing eBay or something. Just not sure I'm, how I'm going to complete the set. I figured they would restock them, but so far they have not. Um, hopefully next month they might restock them, and I might actually buy the final three if they ever get all three of them back in stock. Just so I can finish off my um, limited edition box that I have. I only have the first one in that, so I'm going to put the other two in it. Anyway, I really want to finish this series, the Japanese Blu-rays, so it's going to be my first like um, Blu-ray set that I've completed in Japanese, so that's going to be really cool. I hope I can get my hands on the last three that I'm missing. A couple of other things I picked up was um, Bleach Blu-ray number one and number two. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and buy them all in Blu-ray as well. I'm missing some of them. I'm missing some of the DVD sets, and at this point it'd probably be cheaper just to well, probably not now because I believe all or almost all of them have sold out since the anime came back and since they removed it from like streaming services. Like, there's no way to watch outside of America. I don't believe you can watch legally streaming anywhere. Um, so, since they removed all that, all the episodes off Crunchyroll, it's just going to be more difficult. And hopefully, I can get my hands on the rest of them. There's only like 13 of them, so gonna finish off that set and I do want to finish my blu-ray uh, my DVD set for bleach sometime as well so uh, let's get the English manga uh, magazines out of the way we have two issue zeros of shoujo beat so that's pretty cool and we also have um, issue three which was oh, maybe this one's two this one's yeah this one's issue number two so that's the final well never mind that's issue three anyway uh, it's the final issue that I was missing outside of issue zero, so I went ahead and picked that up this month. We also have some duplicate yen plus issues that I unfortunately had to get to get my final volume that I was missing. So uh, issue one, issue two, which this is one of them that I was missing, so I'm glad I get to add that to the shelf. That's the main reason I'm going ahead and making this video like 12 days early as opposed to... 13 days early as opposed to when I would usually make it at the end of the month or the beginning of like November is just because I'm tired of these taking up space and I usually keep everything that I buy in a month separate but I really want to get my manga um, magazine sets I want to get them all laid out and just all on the shelf and in order and stuff so that's why I, the main reason I'm making this video early that way I can put these away and get them just all together Anyway, there we have the March 2009 release, and that was the last one that I was missing that I was waiting on. That one finally came in. We actually have a sealed one, which is, which issue is this? Um, June 2009, so I didn't even know that it was sealed. I didn't know that it was a new one. Whenever I bought it, I just clicked on it and bought it because it was one that I was missing, so pretty happy to have that. Next up, we have, this is the only stack of manga I got this month. Again, this month, as far as collecting, it was just all over the place. I was just buying stuff that... 
I just wanted on a whim. I didn't have any dedicated collecting other than those English um, manga magazines. So, Volume 1, oh my god, the glare on this. I really need to find a different place to film these videos because this glare is horrible. Anyway, issue 4, all of these are Japanese because I've... I was going to keep buying some manga in English, like One Piece, but I believe even now I've just decided that I don't even want to buy anything in English anymore, especially like supporting Viz, and I definitely don't want to support a lot of series, like publishers and stuff, especially with your Seven Seas and their censorship. Well, Seven Seas hasn't had censorship as much as, like Viz has had a lot of censorship, but Seven Seas has had a lot of iffy translations and them inserting agendas and mistranslating things and putting stuff in that wasn't in it so they've actually had to go back and correct some of that and I don't think they've recalled the manga volumes or the light novels but I do believe they have actually been reprinting them with proper translations so just it's just going to be with me learning Japanese it's going to be a lot easier and cheaper to just start buying everything in like Japanese as far as my manga I'm probably going to buy anime in English still just because I can watch it in Japanese it won't have any uh, Japanese subtitle unfortunately but I'll be able to watch it in Japanese whereas the manga you're stuck with the language that you buy it in so I can read Japanese manga volumes right now at my current level I just have to look up a lot of things but I can read through them pretty fast like outside of looking things up and I know over a thousand sentences, I don't know how many vocab that is, just because I'm learning through sentences. I learn sentences at a time, and most of the time it's either plus one or plus two for my sentences, so no more than probably like 2,000 vocab, and that just gets you all the basics and stuff, so I have to look up dedicated terms and stuff like that. That's basically around the N5 into the N4 level, that's about where I am, and hopefully early next year I'll be getting to the N3, which once I get into N3 and like get close to N2, or at least mostly through N3, I should be able to watch anime in Japanese for the most part, especially your Slice of Lives, and I should be able to read most of your shonen mangas and stuff, and especially Slice of Lives manga at that point, but I, again, I got on a tangent for some reason. I was going to say that I'm not even buying uh, One Piece in English anymore, and I'm probably not even going to buy Hunter x Hunter anymore. Those are two series that I was going to continue to buy in English just because I put so much money into them and I was going to buy them as they come out. But now I'm just going to probably do a bulk order off eBay maybe in the next year or two for just one piece and buy like the first hundred volumes or whatever in one go and just collect it all that way and then stay up to date with the newer issues when they come out. So yeah, slowly I'm going to be replacing all my English manga, have all my English manga on this side of the room and Japanese manga on this side of the room. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to take a while, but I'll end up doing it eventually. Anyway, there we have uh, Shonen Jump 43. I believe I have 43, 44, 45, 46. Yeah, these are the next four, so this is about a month's worth, and I get to add those to the stack with these and ones down there, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, Deku on the cover again. Not a huge My Hero Academia fan. I enjoyed it for the first two and into the third season, but the third season is where it peaked for me partway through that. And it just hasn't been as good since. And then we have um, Ao no Hako, which is um, Blue Box. Wait, that's getting an anime. Or maybe it's Blue Lock. I know Blue Lock is getting an anime. Oh my god, where are those things? I still have to show off those as well. I forgot about those. Glad I remembered that because I also bought those this month. Anyway, then we have Volume 45 with um, a Mission Yosakura Yo Family, which I believe is getting published in English now. I need to get the Japanese volumes to that sometime and the last jump issue we have this time is Sakamoto Days which I believe I am one maybe two volumes behind on the manga because it's been a little while since I bought the manga and I was reading through it but I decided to hold off on that and for some reason I picked up like Burn the Witch in Japanese and I've been reading in that as well in Japanese and of course Yotsuba, Yotsubato, Yotsubato uh, I've been reading through that. That's been really fun to read through. So I've been reading on volume two of that. So that's all the jump issues. Um, I almost forgot about these in the videos. So I'm glad I remembered to do that. And this is going to be the last batch of things that we got this month. So quite a few things. But again, just all over the place with the buying. So we have um, Weekly Shonen Magazine, which is... Actually, whenever I did the video, whenever I got these in the mail, like I bought them on a whim just because I wanted to start buying stuff other than your jump issues. And... 
actually gotten around to looking through this magazine and it has a lot of heavy hitter like manga series it has what is it um Hajime no Epo, um Cafe Goddess Terrace it has that one it has a uh, Rent a Girlfriend um what else does it have it has a few more I believe it has Girlfriend Girlfriend or Tanojo Kanojo which makes more sense in Japanese because in English it's just written Girlfriend, girlfriend in English, but in Japanese it's like one of the kanojos is like kanji and the other one is like uh, katakana. So it's girlfriend, girlfriend. It's just written in two different um, writing systems that they use. And what's the other one that it has? It's for the anime that I'm watching currently. I'm all, I've almost finished the anime. It's good lord, what is the name of it? It's good. Uh, of course, it has Tokyo Revengers. I almost forgot about that. Can't wait for the second season of that anime. I'm really looking forward to that. But I did. I haven't read any of the manga, but I looked through part of the manga in the magazines, and the art styles, panel layouts, and everything for that manga is pretty bad, honestly, and it's just not very good. So the anime is really what makes that series good. The anime and the story, that's what carries that series. It's not the art or the panels. Um, dang, I wish I could remember this anime that I'm watching at the moment. That way I could talk about it. Of course, it has Eden Zero. I almost forgot about that, because... Um, of course, it has Blue Lock, which the anime is like starting right now. There, it's on the cover of that one, if you can see it. Good one. Dang, what is the name of this? It's going to annoy me because I'm watching it, and I was watching watched like three or four episodes of it last night. I just cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. Oh, there, it's cool. It was announced that this is getting a season two of Kanojo Kanojo. There we go. It's like I said, it it's in Katakana first, and then... Um, Kanji, so that's pretty cool. What is the name of this series? It, it's really going to bother me. Because I was remembering it just a second ago, and I totally, completely just forgot it. Maybe it'd be faster to go to the back. Maybe they got a preview or something. Uh, uh, of course, it has Bake, Bake Monogatari, whatever it is. Uh, Ogre's series that he's doing. Um... Oh yeah, that's it. A couple of cuckoos. That's the one that I'm reading. Of course, it's in Japanese, but since it has katakana in its name, it's like easy to point out. So yeah. Anyway, I already showed off this one, and this is going to be the final thing that I showed off. I actually got around to looking through uh, Shonen Sunday, and this is a very weak magazine at the moment, in my opinion. Jump's doing good. Um, what's this one? Um, Weekly Shonen Magazine has quite a few. Both of those have quite a few heavy hitters. For this manga... Well, for this manga magazine, it has Conan, uh, Komi Can't Communicate, which is an English title. I forget what the Japanese title is. It's weird. And as far as I can remember, that's pretty much it for this magazine as far as, like, really good series in it. Oh, of course, it has Mao by um, Rumiko Takahashi, the creator of Inuyasha and Ranma. I'm just glancing through it right quick to see if I recognize anything else. Oh, yeah, Hayate the Combat Butler is in it, but that's not really head really a heavy hitter anymore it, like it's a decent series but it's just not as it's not it's not a great series i would say that i'm trying to see if there's anything else in it that i can recall off the top of my head at oh um 008 by the creator of um dang history strongest disciple kenichi that's in it I haven't read it, so I don't know if it's really good, but I know his other series after Kenichi have not been particularly good, so. And yeah, that's that's about it. So probably like three series that are actually like really, really good, maybe, um, as far as I'm concerned. And then definitely the other two magazines are much, much heavier hitters. So anyway, this video went on a lot longer than what it should have, and... Not really a whole lot to show off this month, it's just all scattered all over the place for like what I was collecting, but next month I think I'm going to focus more on mangas, so yeah, look forward to that, and I will see you in the next video. Later.